Good evening, everyone. Buenos tardes todos. Welcome to our evening service. Bienvenidos a nuestro servicio de la tarde. Uh-oh, I didn't do my hair. No hice mi cabello. Good to see everyone. Que bendición a mirar todos. Glad to be with you. Uh, looking forward to what the Lord has tonight. Da, uh, esperando que Dios tiene para nosotros en esta tarde. And um, yesterday I was thinking about songs uh, that talk about how God is wonderful. And um, ayer estuvo pensando en cantos que hablan que como Dios es maravilloso. And then this morning we sang, Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Y hoy en la mañana cantó un canto de el, que Dios es maravilloso. But, um, and so, I, I, I want to sing some songs tonight about wonderful. Quieren cantar unos cantos de maravilloso. And so if you know them, sing with me. If not, hum along. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to start with this one. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, tis recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, tis recorded in God's word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Wonderful the matchless grace of Jesus, deeper than the mighty rolling sea, higher than the mountain, sparkling like a fountain, all sufficient grace for even me. Broader than the scope of our transgressions, sing it, greater far than all our sin and shame. Oh, wonderful the matchless grace of Jesus, praise his name for god so loved the world he gave to us his son to die on calvary's tree from sin to set me free some day he's coming back what glory that will be wonderful his love to me peace peace wonderful peace coming down from the father above sweep over my spirit in billows i pray in fathomless billows of love Peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit, in billows I pray, in fathomless billows of love. Beautiful words, wonderful words, Wonderful words of life, beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Oh, beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life, beautiful words, wonderful words. Wonderful words of life. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master of everything. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages. Almighty God is he. Bow down before him, 
love and adore him. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. Oh, his name is wonderful, his name is wonderful, his name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master of everything. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages. Almighty God is he. Bow down before him, love and adore him. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Wonderful, it is wonderful. Oh, isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Wonderful it is to me. Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Wonderful it is wonderful. Oh, isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Wonderful it is to me. He is wonderful. Él es maravilloso. His peace, his love, his words, su paz, su amor, sus palabras. He is wonderful. Él es maravilloso. We should rejoice in him. Deben regozar en él. We should praise him. Deben alabar a él. And we always must remember he's wonderful. Siempre necesito recordar que él es maravilloso. Don't forget it in the hard times. No olvides en los tiempos difíciles. Don't forget it when things are not going well. No olvides cuando las cosas no, no está pasando bien. He's always wonderful. Siempre es maravilloso. I do want to wish once again all the mothers watching a happy Mother's Day. Quieren felicidad todos los mamás mirando en esta tarde. Feliz Día de las Madres. Amen. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Vamos a orar. Heavenly Father, tonight I pray that you'd bless as we look into your word, as we focus on mothers today and the love you have for mothers and the way we should treat our mothers. I pray that you would bless this evening in a tremendous way. We love you. We praise you for this morning's service. We thank you for the time that everyone's had today celebrating or remembering their mothers. And I pray that you'd bless us tonight in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. What a blessing. Que bendición. John chapter 19 tonight. Juan capítulo 19. John chapter number 19. Juan capítulo número 19. There was so much going on on the cross when Jesus was being crucified. Era tanto pasando en la cruz cuando Cristo estuvo, uh, uh, um, uh, cuando Cristo era crucificado. So many things to think about. Tantos cosas a pensar. And I want you to think about the Lord Jesus. Quieren pensar en el Señor Jesucristo. The pain he was in, el dolor que él uh, tenía. I don't know about you, when I'm in pain, I'm focused on one thing, my pain. Cuando yo tiene dolor, yo estoy enfocando en una cosa, mi dolor. There was uh, the, 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 de the day getting dark, el día pone obscuro, the people yelling things at him, la gente gritando a él. So many things happening. The thieves talking to him, los ladrones hablando con él. And you would think at that time that the Lord would just completely be focused on what he was going through. Y tú vas a pensar que el Señor va a ser enfocado no más en que él está pasando. 
But there's a great couple of verses. I own unos grandes versículos. Look at verse 26 and 27 of John 19. Juan 19, 26 y 27. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. Isn't it amazing that on the cross, no es maravilloso que en la cruz, the Lord Jesus was still concerned for his earthly mother. Ahí en la cruz, Jesucristo era preocupado por su mamá de esa tierra. He wanted to make sure she was taken care of. Quisiera que ella era, uh, um, que alguien cuidó por ella. And he chose John, he escogió Juan, the beloved, el amado, to take care of his earthly mother. A cuidar su mamá de esta tierra. The Lord Jesus knew how to treat his mother. El Señor Jesucristo sabía cómo tratar su mamá. There were times when he had to remind her of who he was. Era tiempos que él necesita recordar a ella quién era él. But he took care of his mother. Pero él cuidó de su mamá. And I believe that we need to learn how to treat our mothers. Nosotros necesitan aprender cómo a tratar nuestros madres. It is an important thing. Mothers. Uh, go through so much. Mamás pasan por tanto. Uh, as we talked about this morning, como ya habló en la mañana, they, they cry for their children. Llora, llor, lloró por sus hijos. Uh, they pass through difficult times for their children. Pasar por los tiempos difíciles por sus hijos. They try to protect their children. Tratar a proteger sus hijos. They go through so much. Pasan por tanto. I understand that there are mothers out there that are not good mothers. Yo entiende que hay mamás ahí que no son buenos mamás. But the majority of mothers are good mothers. Pero la mayoría de los mamás son buenos mamás. And God wants us to honor them. Dios quiere que honran. When we are young, God wants us to obey them. Cuando somos joven, somos chiquitos, joven, deben obedecer. When we get older and we begin to be on our own, y cuando son más grandes y ya está uh, 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 en nuestros propios caminos, we're supposed to honor them. Deben honrar nuestros mamás. Our mothers deserve to be treated well. Deben tratar nuestros mamás bien. That doesn't mean um, that every mother is a good mother. Esto no dicen que todos los mamás son buenos. That doesn't mean that they're perfect. No se decir que ellos son perfectos. But mothers uh, should be treated well. Deben tratar los mamás bien. Even when you disagree. Aunque cuando no están acuerdo. Or even when you can't follow their advice. Aunque no pueden seguir su consejo. I'm not talking about children and teenagers obeying their parents. No estás hablando de los niños y jóvenes obedeciendo sus papás. I'm talking about when you're older. Estás hablando cuando está más grande. Even when there's a disagreement. Aun cuando hay un desacuerdo. Or you can't follow their advice. O no pueden seguir su consejo. You can still honor them. Todavía pueden honrar. You can talk to them right. Pueden hablar con ellos correcto. You can do things humbly and with respect. Pueden hacer las cosas humil, uh, 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 humiliadamente y con respeto. But the Bible tells us different ways to treat our mothers. La Biblia habla de diferentes maneras a tratar nuestros mamás. It talks about when we're young, how we should treat them. Habla de como, cuando están joven, cómo deben tratar. And when we're older. Y cuando estamos más grandes también. Much of this wisdom is found in the book of Proverbs. Mucho de esta sabiduría encuentra en el libro de Proverbios. So let's go to Proverbs. Vamos a Proverbios. 
And tonight, we're going to show you some things out of the book of Proverbs. And esta noche, va a enseñar cosas del libro de Proverbios. Some things that talk about how to treat your mother. Unos cosas que hablan de cómo deben a tratar nuestros madres. Proverbs chapter number 1, verse number 8 and verse number 9. Proverbios 1, 8 y 9. Proverbs 1, 8 and 9. Proverbios 1, 8 y 9. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Oye, hijo mío, la instrucción de tu padre, y no desprecias La dirección de tu madre. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. Porque adorno de gracia serán a tu cabeza y collares a tu cuello. Forsake not the law of thy mother. Este. Um, y no desprecias la dirección de tu madre. God gave us mothers to help guide us. Dios dé a nosotros madres para ayudar con guía, con dirección. When you are young, it doesn't matter if you think you know better. Follow the law of your mother. Cuando tú eres joven, aunque tú pienses que saben mejor, siguen las direcciones de su madre. Mothers have wisdom that you don't have. Mamás tiene sabiduría que tú no tienes. Young ladies, when you uh, think you're in love with a boy, jovencitas, cuando piensas que está bien enamorada con un jovencito, and your mom says no, y tu mamá dice no, remember, she has more experience. She has more wisdom. Recuerden, ella tiene más experiencia, más sabiduría. Young men, you find a young lady, Jovencitos, encuentran una jovencita. You think you're in love. Tú piensas que está enamorada. Listen to your mother. Escuchen a tu mamá. God has given her wisdom you don't have. Dios di a ella sabiduría que tú no tienes. There's a reason why she lays down the law. Hay una razón que ella pone la ley, las direcciones. And God says, listen to her. Y Dios dice, escuchen a ella. Let her lay down the law. Dejen a ella dar a ti direcciones. Proverbs 30, verse 17, Proverbios, Proverbios 30, 17, says this. The eye that mocketh at his father and despises to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. Whew, that's pretty strong right there. Es fuerte este versículo. El ojo que escarnece a su padre y menosprecia la enseñanza de la madre. Los cuervos de la cañada los saquen y lo devoren los hijos del águila. I think that God wants you to obey your mama. Yo creo que Dios quiere que tú obedecen su mamá. Even when you're older, aunque tú eres más grande... Even when you're making your own decisions, aunque cuando está tomando sus propias decisiones, listen to your mom. Escuchen su mamá. You may not always agree. Puede ser que no siempre están de acuerdo. You may not always be able to follow the advice. Puede ser que no siempre pueden seguir el consejo. But it's a wise man that'll listen to his mama. Pero es un hombre sabio que escuchan su mamá. So you want to know how to treat your mom? Quieren saber cómo tratar su mamá? Let her lay down the law. Dejen que ellos dar a ti dirección. Listen to her. Escuchen a ella. Obey her when you're young. Obedecen cuando tú eres joven. And listen to her when you're old. Y escuchen cuando tú eres más grande. Then go to Proverbs 10.1. Proverbios 10.1. Proverbs 10.1. Proverbios 10.1 The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son, make the glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Los Proverbios de Salomón, el hijo sabio alegra al padre, 
Pero el hijo necio es tristeza de su madre. Say, oh, I want to treat my mom well. Yo quiero tratar a mi mamá bien. I want to treat my mother the best I possibly can. Yo quiero tratar a mi mamá el mejor que puede. Don't be foolish. No ser necio. Don't make foolish decisions. No hacen decisiones necios. Don't live a foolish life. No viven una vida necio. Don't foolishly go after this world. No, con necedad siguen ese mundo. Don't pick your mate foolishly. No escojan a, a su pareja con necedad. You will be a heaviness to your mother if you're a fool. Tú vas a ser pesado para su mamá, tristeza para tu mamá, si tú eres necio. Do you realize that mothers pay the price for your foolishness also? Los mamás pagan el precio por su necedad también. Mothers carry that burden. Los mamás cargan esta carga. There are many sons and daughters that kind of just quit being sons and daughters. Hay muchos hijos y hijas que paran de ser hijos y hijas. Your mother is always going to be your mother. Tu mamá siempre va a ser su mamá, su madre. How many times people are in court for doing terrible things? ¿Cuántas veces la gente está en el corte por hacer cosas terribles? And there you see a mother sitting. Ahí miren una mamá sentado, crying, llorando, with shame, con vergüenza. But they're still there. But todavía está ahí. And they're carrying that burden. Está cargando esta carga. Don't be heaviness to your mother. No se tristeza a su mamá. Don't do foolish things. No hacen las cosas necios. So learn to let mom lay down the law. Aprender a dejar mamá a dar instrucciones. And realize that foolishness brings shame to a mother. Y reconocer que necedad traer a, 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 a vergüenza a una mamá. Be wise. Sed sabio. Live wise. Viven sabiamente. Then let's go to Proverbs 15, 20. Vamos a Proverbios 15, 20. We're talking tonight about how to treat your mother. Está hablando en esta tarde cómo deben a tratar su mamá. Cómo deben a tratar su mamá. Cómo deben a tratar su mamá. How to treat your mother. Cómo deben a tratar su mamá. Proverbs 15, 20. Proverbios 15, 20. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. El hijo sabio alegre al padre, mas el hombre necio menosprecia a su madre. Don't despise your mother. No menosprecia a su madre. You shouldn't talk bad about your mom. No deben hablar mal de su mamá. You shouldn't treat her with disrespect. No deben tratar sin respeto. Young people, quit rolling your eyes at her. Jóvenes, ya paran de hacer sus ojos uh, 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 en contra de ella. Quit looking at her that way. Ya paran de mirar como así. You ever heard that? Get that look off your face. ¿Has escuché? Quitan esta mirada de su cara. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I heard it too. Yo escuché también. Don't despise your mother. No menosprecia su madre. Treat her with respect. Admire her. Admiren a ella. Take care of her. Ten cuidado de ella. Be careful with her. Ser cuidadoso con ella. Watch how you talk. Cuiden como hablan. Watch how you talk about her with others. Cuiden como hablan con los demás de ella. Don't get mad and treat her 
with disrespect. No pone enojado y tratan sin respeto. Even when you're angry, even when there's a disagreement, aunque ya está, está enojado o, o no está en acuerdo, still, treat her with respect. Traten con respeto. You know that you can disagree respectfully, right? Tú sabes que deben tener un uh, discurso con respeto, ¿verdad? And so learn to not despise your mother. Aprende a no menosprecia su madre. Let mom lay down the law. Dejen que mamá pone la ley. Foolishness brings shame to a mother. Necedad uh, trae vergüenza a un mamá. Don't despise your mother. No menosprecia su madre. Then Proverbs 19.26. Proverbios 19.26. Proverbs 19.26. Proverbios 19.26. He that wasteth his father and chaseth away his mother is a son that causes shame and bringeth reproach. El que roba a su padre y ayuyenta a su madre es hijo que causa vergüenza y acarrea oprobio, oprobio. Don't chase your mom away. No corren su mamá. Don't push her away. No empujan de lejos. Don't stop talking to her. No paren de hablar con ella. Don't lose your contact. No pierden su contacto. It is it is hard to come back from that. It's difícil de regresar de eso. And here it says, causes shame and bringeth reproach. Causa vergüenza y acarrea oprobio. Don't push her away. No empujan de lejos. Keep your mom close. Mantener su mamá cerca. I know sometimes there are reasons for separation. Yo sé que hay veces por razones de separación. But as much as possible, try to have a relationship with your mother. El más posible, tratar de tener una relación con tu mamá. Try your best to stay close. Trata de quedar cerca. I understand there are personalities. Yo entiendo que hay personalidades. I know sometimes mothers push kids away. Yo sé que a veces los mamás empujan los hijos lejos. I get all of that. Yo entendí todo eso. But the best you possibly can, don't push her away. El más que pueden, no corren su mamá. No ayuyenta a su madre. Learn to try and stay close with your mother. Tratar a quedar cerca con su mamá. So let mom lay down the law. They can get mamá. Uh, 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 pone la ley. Bo, uh, dar a ti uh, uh, direcciones. Don't be foolish. It brings shame to your mother. No ser necio. Trae vergüenza a su mamá. Don't despise your mother. No, no deben a menosprecia a nuestros madres. And take care of your mother. Cuidan de tu mamá. Cuidan a su madre. Don't let stuff get in the way. No dejen las cosas a entrar. Don't let the little arguments become big things. No dejen los discursos uh, chiquitos, los problemas chiquitos a ser algo grande. Learn to forgive. Uh, aprenden a, a, a perdonar. And quit waiting for the other to ask forgiveness. Y olvidan esperando que el otro piden perdón. There are parents waiting for their kids to ask forgiveness. Hay papás esperando que sus hijos piden perdón. Things that happened years ago. Cosas que pasan años atrás. And then there are kids who are waiting for their parents to ask forgiveness. Y hay hijos esperando que sus papás piden perdón. Do your best to stay close. Hacen su mejor a quedar cerca. Take care of your mother. Cuiden su mamá. Sometimes it's not easy. Veces no es fácil. But honor her because that honors God. 
Pero honran a ella porque esto honran a Dios. Proverbs 20, verse 20. Proverbios 20, versículo 20. Whoso curseth his mother, or his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Al que maldice a su padre o su madre, se le apagará su lámpara en obscuridad tenebrosa. Be very careful how you talk about your parents. Ten cuidado como hablan de sus papás. But they hurt me. Pero ellos y dio a mí. Ellos causé a mí, causó a mí daño. Sometimes we have to suffer in silence. Veces necesitan sufrir en silencio. Or sometimes we only talk with those things with someone that we know will keep it close. O no más pueden hablar con alguien de estas cosas, alguien que va a mantener cerca. We need to learn to be careful how we talk about our mother. Necesita aprender cómo a, a, hablar bien de nuestras mamás. By the way, I'm not talking about abuse. You no know, estás hablando de abuso. Someone that's being abused, alguien que está es abusado, they need to talk with someone. Deben hablar con alguien. But I'm talking in general. Estás hablando en general. Be careful about what you say about your mother. Ten cuidado como hablan de su mamá. We're talking about how to treat your mother. Está hablando de cómo deben tratar nuestros mamás. Proverbs 23, 22. Proverbios 23, 22. Proverbs 23, 22. Proverbios 23, 22. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Oye a tu padre, a aquel que te engendro, y cuando tu madre envejeciere, no la menosprecias. Take care of your mother when she gets older. Cuidan de su mamá cuando ella pone anciana. Sometimes that care is different things. Veces ese cuidado es de diferentes maneras. Some are able to actually take them into their home. Hay unos que pueden llevar a su casa. Some can help support financially. Hay otros que pueden ayudar financialmente. Some can help with paperwork. Unos con los papeles. Some support with, with, with phone calls and, and, and letters and, and gifts. Hay unos que soportan con regalos y cartas y, y llamadas. Sometimes... The best care you can give is placing them someplace where they can get that care. This is the mejor cuidado que pueden dar es a poner en un lugar donde pueden recibir un cuidado más. However it is, don't despise them when they get older. No menosprecia cuando pone anciana. Things change as parents get older. Los cosas cambian cuando pone Anciano, los papás. And sometimes the children have to take on the leadership role. Veces los hijos necesitan tomar el liderazgo. But learn to treat them with respect. Pero traten con respeto. As much as, you poss as, much as possible, keep giving them their honor. Y más posible, dar a ellos su honor. Let uh, 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 don't take away a, a man's pride. No quiten el orgullo de un hombre. Let them make decisions as much as possible. Dejen que ellos tomen sus decisiones en más posible. And step in when it's going to hurt them. Y nomás ayuden cuando va a, a, a dañar a ellos. Don't. I've watched people be impatient with parents and talk bad about them in public or get after them in public. Has mirar hijos que uh, uh, pone impaciente con sus padres ancianos en público y, y regañar a ellos en frente de otros o traten con impaciencia. Ten cuidado de eso. 
Be careful with that. Why? We need to take care of them when they get older. It says here, don't despise them. Dicen aquí, no, uh, uh, menos precios. Take care of them when they get older. Cuiden cuando ellos son más ancianos. Proverbs 28, 24. Proverbios 28, 24. Proverbs 28, 24. Proverbios 28, 24. Proverbs 28, 24. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother and saith it is no transgression, the same as the companion of a destroyer. El que roba a su padre o a su madre y dice que no es maldad, compañero es del hombre destruidor. Don't take advantage of your parents. No toman advantaje de sus papás. Don't steal from them. No roban de ellos. Don't mooch off of them. No viven de ellos. Don't do that to your parents. No hacen esto a sus papás. I know there are hard times. Yo sé que hay tiempos difíciles. I know there are times when you have to move in with your parents. Hay veces que necesitan vivir con sus papás. I know there's hard times when they may be helping you. Yo sé que hay tiempos, puede ser que ellos están ayudando a ti. But don't take advantage of it. No toman advantaje. You young people, you get old enough to work. Ustedes jóvenes, ya llegó el, uh, 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 el tiempo a trabajar. And you're still living with your parents. Y todavía está viviendo con sus, pap sus papás. Pay some rent. Pagan renta. When I came out of college, I lived with my parents for a while. Cuando salió del colegio, vivió con mis papás por un tiempo. I paid rent. Yo pagué renta. I helped them with the, with the electric bills. Yo ayudó con los pagas de eléctrico. Why? That's respect. It's respecto. I didn't despise them. Yo no menospreciaba. Don't treat your parents badly by taking advantage. No traten sus papás malo tomando advantaje. Abusando, usando. Don't abuse them. Don't misuse them. Take care of yourself when you're able. Cuiden a ti mismo cuando es posible. And if you have to get their help, y si necesitan su ayuda, don't take advantage. No tomen advantaje. I'm not talking bad about if you have to live with your parents. No estás hablando mal de vivir con sus papás. But I am telling you, don't take advantage of them. No toman advantaje. Don't abuse them and use them. No abusen y usar a ellos. Treat them with respect. Tratan con respeto. Don't despise. No menosprecien a ellos. Proverbs 29.15 Proverbios 29.15 Proverbs 29.15 The rod and reproof give wisdom. But a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. La vara y la corrección dan sabiduría. Mas el muchacho consentido avergonzará a su madre. I know you kids and teenagers don't want to hear this. Yo sé que tú, ustedes, niños y jóvenes, no quieren escuchar a, de, a, a, a eso. Discipline is good. La disciplina es buena. I know it may hurt. Puede ser que duele. I know you may not be able to sit for a while. Puede ser que no puedan sentar por un tiempo. But it's good for you. Pero es bueno para ti. When you are young, cuando tú eres joven, and mom disciplines, cuando eres joven, y, y tu mamá da disciplina, you ought to thank God. Te van a dar gracias. Because the Bible says a, a child left to themselves bring their mother shame. Porque la Biblia dicen aquí, uh, uh, en versículo 15 de 29, uh, la vara y la corrección dan sabiduría, más el muchacho consentido avergonzará a su madre. El consentido da vergüenza. Mothers, it's okay to discipline your children. Amás, está bien a disciplinar sus hijos. But if you want to treat your mom well, si quieren tratar a su mamá bien, accept discipline. Aceptar la disciplina. It's a good thing. 
Son buena cosa. It may not feel good. Puede ser que no sentí bien. It may not seem good at the time. Puede ser que no sentí que es bueno en el tiempo. But later you'll look back and say, thank God. Pero después va a mirar para atrás y decir, gracias a Dios. The Bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. La Biblia dice que el necedad es en el corazón del niño. So your mom in discipline helps you with your foolishness. Su mamá con disciplina ayudan con su necedad. It's a good thing. Es una buena cosa. And then look at Proverbs 31.1. Proverbios 31.1. Proverbs 31.1. Proverbios 31.1. The words of King Lemuel, but look at this, the prophecy that his mother taught him. Palabras del Rey Lemuel, la, pero escuchen eso, la profecía con que le enseñó su madre. So King Lemuel is talking here. Está hablando el Rey Lemuel, but think about it, pero piensen en eso. He's talking about what his mother taught him. Estás hablando de que enseñó su mamá. I know that when preachers preach out of Proverbs 31, yo sé que cuando los predicadores predican de Proverbios 31, I know, ladies, yo, yo entendí, uh, 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 mujeres, sometimes you think, yeah, that's what a man thinks. Bueno, esto es que piensa en un hombre. No, this is what a mother taught his son. Esto es que enseñan un mamá a su hijo. And... What we see from here is that a mother can teach you good things. Un mamá puede enseñar a ti buenas cosas. Listen to the teaching of your mother. Escuchen la enseñanza de su madre. Uh, John and Charles Wesley were instrumental in the Great Awakening in England and United States. Uh, Juan y Carlos uh, Wesley era uh, uh, instrumento en... En el gran despierto, el gran avivamiento en Inglaterra, en los Estados Unidos. And uh, at, that, at that time, actually the colonies, en este tiempo los colonias. But um, they had a mother, tenía un mamá. Their dad wasn't much. Su papá no era mucho. But their mother, pero su mamá. I can't remember, I think it was 18 children she had. It was a bunch of children. Yo creo que era 18 hijos que tenía. But she spent every time, every day with each child. Tomé tiempo cada día con cada hijo. And she taught those boys. Enseñó a estos niños. She taught them to live right. Enseñó a vivir correctamente. Taught them about God. Enseñó de Dios. God used that woman to shape a great revival. Dios usa esa mujer a formar un gran avivamiento. Mothers can teach. Los mamás pueden enseñar. In this passage, chapter 3, I'm sorry, in verse 3, and then verse 10 through 31, she teaches about women. Y aquí en capítulo 31, versículo 3, y después, versículo 10 a 31, enseñan de las mujeres. Young men, men, your mother can help you learn about women. Su mamá pueden ayudar a ti a aprender de las mujeres. Young ladies, your mother can teach you how to be a godly woman. Su mamá puede enseñar a ustedes jovencitas a ser una mujer de Dios. Even if they're not saved, they can many times teach you how to be a lady. Aunque cuando no son salvos, pueden enseñar a ti a ser un dama. Mothers can teach. Los mamás pueden enseñar. She, she teaches him about alcohol here. Enseñan del alcohol and how it's not good. Y, 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 y que no es bueno. Teaches him in verse 8 and 9 about good judgment. Enseñan en versículo 8 y 9 de buen uh, uh, juicio bueno. How to treat those that can't speak for themselves. Como tratar ellos que no pueden hablar por ellos mismos. How to treat the poor and needy. Como tratar los pobres. How to defend them. Como defender. Listen to your mama's teaching. Escuchen la enseñanza de su madre. So many things. Tantos cosas. How to treat your mother. Como tratar su mamá. Let mom lay down the law. 
Dejen que su mamá da direcciones, instrucciones. Don't be foolish and bring her shame. No ser necio y traer a ella vergüenza. Don't despise your mother. No, a menosprecia su madre. Take care of her. Cuiden por ella. Don't push her away. No, uh, uh, corren a ella o, o empujan lejos. Be careful how you talk about them. Ten cuidado como hablan de sus madres. Take care of mom when she is older. Cuiden por su mamá cuando ella es uh, 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 más anciana. Don't take advantage of your mother. No tomar advantaje de su madre. Let her discipline. It's good. Dejen que ella da disciplina. Es buena. And listen to her teaching. Escuchen su enseñanza. And the last thing, la última cosa, Proverbs 30, verse 11. Proverbios 30, versículo 11. There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. Hay generación que maldicen a su padre y a su madre no bendice. You know what you need to learn to do? Bless your mother. Deben aprender a bendecir a su madre. That's the idea of kneeling, praising, saluting. Es la idea de poner de rodilla, alabar, saludar. It's an act of adoration. Es un acta de adoración. Treat your mother well. Tratan su mamá bien. Bless her. Adorar a ella. Alabar a ella. I'm not talking about the same blessing that you give God. No estás hablando del mismo uh, bendición que dar a Dios. But you ought to adore your mother. Adorar su mamá. Treat her with respect. Traten con respeto. Love your mother. Amen a su mamá. You say, but she's difficult to love. Es difícil amar a ella. Yes, and we're difficult for God to love. Y nosotros somos, de, somos difíciles, difíciles para Dios a amar. But he loves us. Pero amen a nosotros. Do your best to love her. Hacer su mejor amar a ella. Do your best to bless her. Sed su mejor a bendecir. Bendice a ella. Let's treat our mothers biblically. Vamos a tratar nuestras mamás bíblicamente. Let's treat them well. Vamos a tratar en una buena manera. Are they perfect? No. ¿Somos perfectos? No. Can there be mothers that are difficult? ¿Pueden ser mamás que son difíciles? Yes. Sí. But with God's help. Pero con la ayuda de Dios. And being willing to obey the scriptures. He said, dispuestos a obedecer las escrituras. You can treat your mother well. Tú puedes tratar su mamá bien. One of the greatest things. A mother can receive. Una de las cosas más grandes que una mamá puede recibir is that her children are saved and living for God. Que sus hijos son salvos y viviendo por Cristo. If you're not saved tonight, si tú no eres salvo, God loves you. Dios ama a ti. He loves you more than your mother. Él ama a ti más que su madre. He died for you. Murió por ti. He wants to save your soul. Quieren salvar su alma. He wants to forgive your sin. Quieren perdonar sus pecados. But you must turn to him. Pero deben a dar la vuelta a él. You must receive him by faith. Deben a recibir por fe. You can be saved tonight. Tú puedes ser salvo en esta noche. Christian, maybe you just want to take a minute and thank God for your mother. Puede ser que nomás quieren tomar tiempo a dar gracias por su madre. Maybe you want to say, God, help me to honor my mother. Puede ser que quieren decir, Dios, ayúdame a honrar mi mamá. If you're younger, si tú eres más joven, if you're still at home, si tú todavía estás en su casa, maybe you need to say, 
God help me to obey my mother. Dios ayúdame a obedecer mi mamá. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Heavenly Father, I pray tonight that you would bless the mothers. I pray tonight that you would take care of the mothers, that you would be with the mothers. God, I pray that you would comfort those whose mothers are in heaven, that we would have those sweet memories. And God, I pray that we would treat our mothers well, honor them, respect them, while still under their authority, obey them. Help us tonight. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. We will be back Tuesday morning. Well, this Tuesday, we need to push it back. We will have devotions at 12 noon. So Tuesday, 12 noon for devotions. Este martes a las 12, um, al mediodía, a las 12, por, los devocional, por el devocional. Uh, Wednesday night, 7.30, miércoles a las siete y media. Uh, I love you. I'm praying for you. Aman a ustedes. Está orando por ustedes. We'll see you soon here, there, or in the air. A mirar pronto aquí, allá, o en el aire. Pray for Brother Jonathan Brown. Orar por hermano Jonathan Brown. He will be traveling tonight and tomorrow, coming back home. Él va a ser viajando hoy en la tarde y mañana. Regresando a casa, keep him in prayer. Uh, God is good. Dios es bueno. Thank God for our mothers. Gracias por nuestras madres. And we will see you Tuesday morning. Vamos a mirar martes en la mañana.